Well, it's a new program meant to keep Frisco students safe with extra eyes. Those eyes in the form of cameras accessible remotely by police, fire, and paramedics. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers is at the Frisco Police Department to show us how it works. This is the police dispatch center. If a 911 call comes in from a Frisco school, they can pull up one of these cameras. As you can see in real time, they can know exactly what's happening and where. Now we can see a live image, a live video of what's going on in the school right now. The walls of Frisco ISD schools can talk directly to the authorities. Every school in the district emits a continual live feed, thanks to cameras stationed throughout the buildings. They're all over the school. They're in the um, hallways, in the common areas, um, outside the school. In case of emergency, such as an active shooter, dispatchers can pinpoint who, what, and where and pair that information with a floor plan of the school. They can tell us, okay, exactly where the incident is taking place so we can send the resources right there. It can give us the ability to set up perimeters where we need them um, and just really be able to respond to the schools um, in a more efficient and accurate manner. Police, firefighters, and paramedics can also access the cameras from their vehicles while en route. You can see, you know, kids are walking down the halls. For Frisco High School school resource officer sergeant, the cameras are an additional layer of security. It gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that the ones that are coming to help are going to be here very quickly, and they know exactly where they do. And while he walks the halls of school, he knows he has backup. It's game changing, really. It's, it would be very nice to see a lot more departments and cities and schools use this type of software. And the program is called SAFER. It stands for Situational Awareness for Emergency Response. It was funded several years ago and is being maintained by bond money. In Frisco, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.